All right, guys, so today in class, we're going to talk about lineup procedures. Lineup procedures today. And uh, today, I have one of my special students with me who's going to uh, give us an example of how he knows how to line up. Hey, Deshaun, come up here and help us out. So, guys, when you line up, you are going to want to stand right here. That's COVID, so we got to stay six feet apart. But you're going to want to line up like this. Arms forward, you want to look straight ahead, and you do not want to make a sound. The shot, make sure you do not make a sound. Class, I want you to see how this student right here is set up. He is ready to go to lunch. He is not making any noise at all, and he is ready to get his day started. The shot, you can sit down. Thank you so much. Guys, I need you to understand that the lineup procedure is very serious. If you are talking while you're trying to line up, if you are talking over Mr. Stewart while you're trying to line up, then that takes away from what we're trying to do. All right, students, so when you line up, you already had an example of how to do that, but you also need to understand that you do not need to be making any noise in your seat. The way you line up, I'm going to give each of you one number, and when I call out your number, I want you guys to line up single file. So we're going to practice this a couple of times, and while we're practicing, I need you guys to pay close attention on what to do and what not to do. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to raise your hand or ask Mr. Stewart a question, and I will definitely answer it the best way I possibly can. You guys need to understand that even though you may not think lining up is that serious, it is a serious matter, and if we have a fire or there's a tornado drill or there's something over the intercom where somebody's talking, we need to be able to have certain cues that are quiet to where I can raise my hand or call your number out for you just by a show of my hand, and you should be able to get up and know exactly what to do in that moment. All right, students, so today I have a special guest with me. This is one of your classmates. His name is Karan Webb Jr. Karan, raise your hand. All right, so what Karan's going to do today, he's going to help me out with showing us how we are going to line up today. So with the procedures that I am running, I will give each student a number. So today his number is going to be number one. So as soon as I say number one, he will line up. Can I please have number one line up? Just stand right there. So you see, he is still looking forward as the first student was, and he's not making a sound, he's looking straight forward. And I'm gonna be number two, so when I say number two line up, I'm gonna get right here with him, and I'm still not making a noise. I'm gonna keep a safe distance because we still are dealing with corona, and we're gonna walk out single file and quietly. All right, class, so everyone should understand the line of procedures now. Everyone should know that when you line up, you are facing forward, you are keeping a safe distance, and that you are in a single file line. You should also understand the rules and regulations, no matter if we're going to lunch, if you're going to specials, or if we're lining up to do a fire drill. The same rules always apply regardless of what the lineup reason is. So, guys, I want to ask you a question. Can someone tell me, can someone raise their hand and tell me what they learned about the line of procedure today? Okay, Jay. Um, I learned that you have to look forward when you line up. Yes, sir. KJ said you have to look forward when you line up. And that right there is one of the first thing I discussed, and that is correct. As soon as you line up, you need to look forward. You need to make sure you are not making a single sound so when Mr. Stewart talks, his point gets across to everybody in the class. And with that being said, the reason why I think line of procedure is so important is because you don't want a kid to get hurt. You want to make sure the kids understand your procedures and they make sure that you, every kid in the classroom can hear what you're saying. I think line of procedure gets overlooked a lot of times because you're so focused on everything else you're doing throughout the day that you don't get to reach back and go over the rules from the beginning of the year. I think it's always important that every kid understands their role when they do line up. And I also think it's important that you have silent cues to where if everybody's talking loud, you can still allow each student to know when it is their turn to line up. 